Welcome back to part two of Monday Morning Coffee with Joel and my special guest, Andrea from the Bank of Montreal. And again, grab your coffee, let's have a sip and get into it. So right now we're kind of hearing in the news and in a lot of different areas, people are saying there are uh, thousands and thousands of mortgages coming up for renewal. So a lot of people are talking about that. We've also seen an increase in the property tax values of homes. So people are really looking at their finances. They're really looking at what are my property taxes? What are my mortgage payments? So what would you say to the people watching that are thinking of refinancing, remortgaging, or considering their whole financial situation as it comes down to their home and the payments they're making? So that's a great question and it's very timely because with the current market conditions, we are seeing more people opt to not make a move and not um, move to their next home. And the reason they're not is that the inventory just isn't there. Mm -hmm. So they're delaying that decision. And in some cases, they may not be able to remain in their current home as it currently stands. So we do offer options where you can refinance with a mortgage plus improvements. Mm -hmm. And what that allows you to do is to replace your kitchen, okay. to finish your basement, um, you know, to do maintenance items like replacing your roof or your windows. All of those things are very important when it comes to um, maintaining your property value and keeping that, keeping your investment up to where it should be within the market. But we have products available for that where you have the ability to withdraw some of your equity. So there are homeowner ready lines of credit. That's a very popular product where you can have a mortgage portion and then you have the ability to access the equity in your property. So if you do make that decision to make a renovation or change a bathroom out, you can draw on the equity and it allows people to do that without having to apply for a refinance if they already have that homeowner ready line of credit available. Um, the other option, as I mentioned, with major improvements would be a mortgage plus improvements if you're adding to the structure. So maybe you've outgrown the space. Mm -hmm. We can look at that as well, where we would get an appraisal of your current home. We'd have the blueprints available for the extension or the addition that you want to do. And we would get an as complete value as well. And we can lend up to 80% of that as complete value, mm -hmm. which allows homeowners that chance to change the home they're currently in to meet their current stage in life. Right. That's so important. And I I think that I want to underscore how maintaining your home, keeping it updated is the best way to protect that investment. I find it so um, sad, actually, when I when I go in a home that just hasn't been looked after. And that could be because the owners weren't able to afford it. But you need to ask the questions because it's it's often a case of not knowing what's available. Mm -hmm. And there, you know, homes have gained so much equity in the last three years mm -hmm. that, you know, if you've been in your home for five or 10 years, in the current market, there is a substantial amount of equity available to you. So before you get into a financial duress or a problem, reach out to your lender mm -hmm. and find out what options are available. And part of that too, you just mentioned getting into financial duress. We're seeing that in this economy right now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who have accumulated debt, whether it's on credit cards with high interest rates, whether it's on a line of credit, um, you know, high interest rate loans. We have the ability to refinance and consolidate that debt. Mm -hmm. So we can roll that all into one simple mortgage payment for you. You have the ability to access up to 80% of the value of your home by mortgaging that. Wouldn't it be better if you had everything in one payment and you reduced your payments by say $500, six, $700 a month? Just think of the financial progress that you could make by doing that and using your home, putting it to work for you. Yeah, that's why we invest in these things because they appreciate and value Absolutely. and we want to protect those things. And we're seeing, we're all feeling the pinch when we go to the grocery store, when we go to buy really anything right now. So reach out to us, reach out to a realtor if you wanna know what your home is worth. I'm getting a lot of people asking me, you know, what is this worth? I'm thinking of selling it or thinking of downsizing or whatever the case, reach out to me, reach out to someone like Andrea uh, because there are options available to you that you may not be aware of.
So a lot of people are also talking about refinancing right now and having to refinance at a much higher rate. What would you say to people that are concerned about that or thinking about that? So with anything, you're going to have your mortgage terms coming up for renewal, whether you're in a two year, three or five year interest rate. So if you are nearing that renewal point or maturity on your current term, reach out to your financial institution. You want to start the conversation early. Mm -hmm. Typically, your bank is going to send you out a renewal notice six months in advance. That's a great time to start the conversation. Do you need to lock in at that point? Not necessarily. So I did have a lot of people ask me before Christmas. They were receiving notices from their financial institutions, not necessarily my financial institution, but I do receive calls from people at other banks as well. And they were concerned because they were being offered a renewal rate of 6%. And I knew that their mortgages weren't up for renewal until April or May. My advice to them was not to lock in that early because we had the knowledge that rates were going to start to slowly decrease. So you know, start the conversation, see what the interest rates are being offered and make the decision that's going to be best for you. If you know that you need to renew right now because you need to refinance to consolidate debt, you may be faced with a slightly higher interest rate. But you do have that time period. You've got about six months worth of time where you can watch the market. You can see what rates are gonna do. So it is important to start the process though. Um, I often get people coming to me saying, my mortgage renews in three weeks, what can I do? And that's really not enough time to do much of anything. Um, at that point, I can start the application process. I can order the appraisal. And then I have to order a, um, a payout statement from the other financial institution that can take seven to 10 business days. Mm -hmm. So you're really leaving yourself quite tight for time. So making sure that you do everything in advance, at least contacting somebody four to six weeks before the renewal date is definitely advised. Great, well that's, you heard it here, four to six weeks or longer. Start, the, start having the conversation six months, three months ahead of time. Absolutely. Great, thank you. Thank you so much, Andrea, for talking to us about mortgages and helping take some of the mystery out of the whole process. It was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. And if you ever have any questions whatsoever, please reach out. I'm here to help. Once again, thank you for watching. And until I see you next week, keep being awesome. For contact information, see below. Whoa.